I'm curious what this multi fucking billion motherfucking dollar company is gonna be dropping here. I need to know. I need to see what exactly they're planning on doing. What the plan is. These mobile games are like shots of espresso. That's how they're designed. You plan for like the fucking fattest, quick dopamine rushes. Even though espressos don't give you, you know, the espresso just has a fuck ton of caffeine. Oh fuck, oh fuck, Blizzard Entertainment presents... Fucking Warcraft slot machines. No. And different heroes. Like it's a MOBA. I hope it's not TFT. Light Rumble? Hi, I'm Justine. And I'm Adam. And today we have the honor of introducing you to Warcraft, Warcraft Arc Light, Light Rumble. Rumble! So what is this game? What is this game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mobile strategy, fast-paced hero collector. And villain collector. And villain collector what game that has a fuck? vast PvE campaign. It also has dungeons and raids and PvP and co-op and everything you'd expect of a Warcraft game from Blizzard. We love games. We were super inspired by tower defense games. Our game isn't really tower defense. It's more our style to do a tower offense game. It's joyful chaos. And we're aiming to bring our Blizzard best to mobile games that inspire us. Chaos reigns. All the chaos. Can't use chaos twice. In basements of taverns all across Azeroth, a mysterious machine has been found. Is it new? Has it always been there? Powered by gnomish engineering and arc light. This machine has been generating famous and infamous battlegrounds for your entertainment. So when the battle begins, you'll come to the battlefield with your army, ready to go assault the boss. There's a base for you to defend. If the base dies, your run is over. Also, there's meeting stones on the map. If we control the meeting stone, we can play things closer to the boss. If the enemy controls the meeting stone, they're gonna come at us a little bit closer as well. There's also towers on the map for you to go capture that lets you have a forward position so you can assault the boss directly. There's also shinies that you can get. There's gold nodes and treasure chests to plunder. You gotta get the shiny. Give me the shiny. Shiny. What the The more fuck? gold that you can get, the more chaos you can rain upon the field. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this game is that every mini has their own personality and every single one of them thinks they're the coolest. And they're all wrong, except for Blackrock Pyromancer. Yes! In Warcraft Arclight Rumble, we have five families. The Alliance! The Noble Alliance with a lot of defensive units and spells. Aha! There's also the Horde! The Proud Horde that will overpower your enemies. Heed my call! But there's also Blackrock to sear a hole in your enemy's You know, defenses. let's throw down! There's of course the undead. You can bring a skeleton of troops to the battlefield. Rise. And beasts. We also have a literal stampede from the plains and jungles of Azeroth. I was, I was expecting all more. The chaos going on with the troops, we need somebody to lead this rabble. Leaders are a way to cater your strategy and build a specific play style that suits you. If you want to play siege units, go for Sneed. I'm down! Sneed has a trait called Sneed's Greed that makes all of your siege units grab extra gold. My personal favorite is Ren. 
with his ability Black in the Sky. It makes all of your flying units one gold cheaper so you can fill the air with chaos. Chaos. There are tons of strategies that you can assemble with this. There are over 60 minis for you to play with. But you don't need to have an understanding of Warcraft to be able to embrace the chaos. Yes! A sense of exploration and wonder should come across regardless. Speaking of wonder, let's go play a game. We're gonna do it live. I mean, it'll be edited later, but that's okay. Welcome to Jinrok's Swole Troll Isle. A test of strength. This is a fun map mm. because I did the design for it and Justine did the art. We'd have our animators and our character artists to make all this happen. There's so many people that go into making this a reality. The goal of the Swole Troll Patrol is to punch your base in is the face. Is this like how Smash Cat that Clash button. Royale is? Okay. Literally? I've Here never played troll. it, He's so. coming down our lane, and the first thing we're going to do is have some harpies go say hello. There's a kobold that's already trying to steal gold over there. We're going to let him go for that, though. There's a bat rider coming, and we have a huntress. Let's play a huntress to help this out a little bit. And here comes another swole troll. Let's send out some chickens to meet that swole troll. But those trolls are definitely relentless. I'm actually going to lose. No! <laughs> we don't make these maps to be easy. <laughs> Lose. You designed this map. Smash that start button. Let's go. All right, here comes the swole troll, and we need some harpies to go take care of that swole troll. Oh my. There's some chickens coming. I don't care about those chickens, but that kobold, I do. That kobold definitely needs to get out of here. <laughs> need some more gold, though. Let's go mine this area right here so that we can fuel our harpy addiction. All right, good. Have those chickens come in and peck that swole troll just like it's a snack. Oh my gosh, look at all of these units coming in here. But one chain lightning is all we need. Tiny. Hopefully that kobold sneaks by. Aww. Ooh. Woo. Overtime. Oh, we're in overtime. overtime. All right. Down to the wire. Harpies, come on. Time's running, Time's running out. Too close. All right, all right, all right. Let's do a wombo combo. Brilliant. I shot up. That's just one of the 70 plus maps that we have for you to play all over Azeroth. One of my favorite maps is going back to Stranglethorn, deep in the jungle, is Gurubashi Arena. King Mukla is there with his Bananchucks and Banandalia. There's a couple of apes in Ungro that have some banana armaments. We've got the Benini Gun by Ukluk. Ungro also has Devil Sword Queen. Tyrant of the area, and she comes stomping down, and you just have to take her down before she bites your base. Tasty base. There's always going to be unique challenges depending on each map. When it comes to maps that require you to be able I to bet this is take out charge today. of the high ground or combat massive cannon bombardment from a ship, there's so many ways that you can customize your minis using talents. Their abilities can be augmented in all different sorts of directions. Mayev has a really awesome talent called Cloak of Shadows. Wherever you play her on the map, she will cast Smoke Bomb and stealth everything around her so you can make a mobile assault squad anywhere on the map. Oh, they have a pre-register? Warcraft! Warcraft! Arclight! Rumble! This game has so many ways to play varied content every single day, every single week. You get to play a new dungeon every week. We didn't talk about dungeons! We didn't talk about dungeons. You can play dungeon solo, or if you want to play co-op, you can as well. We didn't talk about co-op! We forgot to talk about co-op! Co-op, you can join a guild, you can play with your friends. You can join a guild and you can fight your friends! Fight, fight, fight. You can go play raids with them. There's so many things to do in this game. We didn't talk about raids! You're just going to have to stay tuned for more information, aren't you? Close Beta is coming to limited regions soon, so keep an eye on social media for more information. On behalf of the team, we are so excited for you guys to get Chat. your hands on this, and we really, really Chat. look forward to your feedback and input. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Enjoy the joy. Enjoy the chaos. The chaos, it never ends. Clash Royale is chaos. 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 Oh, God. Chaos. Okay. Chaos. Okay. Okay. Chaos. Okay, <laughs> Class Royale was a potato ass game, okay, that made more money than a multi fucking million dollar MMO made by Blizzard that was successful. But then Blizzard was like, why don't we make the same fucking game and probably make the same amount of money we did from 10 years of fucking World of Warcraft? Because people eat this shit up. So why the fuck would they not do this? 
That's not defending, dude. I'm, that's just makes sense. The problem is you think it's a defense. I don't give a fuck about this. I was expecting something way more. But then, logically, why would they not fucking do this? Why would they not? You dumbasses don't realize that they, re they don't give a fuck about the PC gamer as much. They're not trying to sell this to you. You guys are the fucking minority at this point. Okay, the people who play Clash Royale and the reason why that game, what, made fucking billions of dollars? It's not the same gamer as a motherfucker who plays MMOs on their computer all the time. The fucking fucks who need, like us, who need a big next-gen MMO are in the minority. And in order to fucking make some crazy shit like that, it costs so much fucking money. And then people still shit on the game. Because they're so fucking hardcore. When you can make a potato ass game like this. That has little dopamine rushes of. Oh use your finger on the tiny screen. Here there there there. That is accessible to everybody. Who isn't masturbating on the fucking Steam review. Or Blizzard forums. Every time they change the color of a fucking pauldrons. Get the fuck out of here. Obviously they're going to make a fucking game like this. For the people who don't give a fuck. Who just are play the game. And then sometimes throw in a little money. Because it's easy to connect your car to your phone. And make way more money than uh, what they would experience with the headache of making an MMO. Like, no shit they would do this. There's no surprise. It's just the reality. That's not... Dude, that's, it's not even about being sponsored or negative. It's understanding why they would do this. Because they're a fucking business, you fucks. Jesus. Obviously, I want a fucking next-gen motherfucking MMO from Blizzard. Or some crazy shit like it used to be. But I also get the fact as to why these type of mobile games come out. And they throw the Warcraft tag on it. Because they already have the setting. They have the characters. They don't need to make a whole set of characters and all that shit like Clash Royale did. They already have identity. Now they just need to take the identity and apply it to already popularized or mobile gamer mechanics that they know of with a different setting. Just like, yeah, that's literally how it is. So it makes sense why. I'm surprised though that they... I thought it was going to be something bigger. At the end of the day, I, the way there was like a lot of people talking about the Warcraft, their first mobile game, I thought they were going to go more ham, you know? Even though you can play Hearthstone on your phone, and Hearthstone seems more in tune. Uh, and they also have, don't they have something else on mobile too? But whatever, I guess I see why they did a Clash Royale style thing. Like, why would they want not to, why would they not want to do that? Why would, why, and they have Diablo Immortal. Even Diablo Immortal seems, Diablo Immortal's more hardcore, but Diablo Immortal is the answer to all of the other MMO lights, let's call them, on mobile. So this is Blizzard. There's so many MMO lights on mobile, like the lineage MMOs and all that bullshit. So it also makes sense that Diablo comes to mobile because they have the setting, they have the identity, and just apply it to that fucking formula. So they check off that section, and now they take Warcraft, their setting, and throw it to a Clash Royale formula. I see why they are doing it. I don't see why they wouldn't do it. It takes way less fucking development time, way less fucking devs, and the money they make is potentially way more than they would with a AAA fucking game. And half the motherfuckers on Clash Royale don't fucking type shit on forums every two seconds criticizing every decision. It's probably way less of a headache for the fucking devs too. Because at the end of the day, the casual gamers and the dudes on their fucking phone outweigh the living fuck out of gamers like us because they way, make way more fucking money and if you're surprised you're fucking blind because no shit this is where everything was headed towards
Mobile's been a fucking gaping fucking wart that is exploding beyond belief, and it's way bigger. It keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But I wish it was a cooler game. I'll still try it. I don't really give a fuck too much, though. That was underwhelming. It was super underwhelming. I wish it was something cooler, but whatever. All right, now you guys can go watch Asmongold talk about it. Suck my balls.